going on youtube it's your boy diz here and we coming with y'all with another banger you feel me one of the good bangers it's probably won't be one of our latest videos for a while you feel me it's a probably a six seven part video so this is the first part video and i'm gonna keep it quick and simple off by saying this is gonna be our thousand gallon freshwater pond in our basement yeah you heard it right pond in our basement yeah so it, this is what is gonna be the plan so as I said in the last videos, if y'all are watching, I had a plan for all my extra fish to be in one. So this is the plan. And with this video, I'm gonna show you part one of how I'm gonna put it together, starting with the wall to block everything in to keep it in its own area in my basement to keep my little doggies and stuff out. You know how that goes. So one, two, we're gonna show y'all them in a minute. But like I said, we rearranging the basement right now. But I got six two by fours, 10 foot long. I got six of these, they're six foot long. I'ma cut these in half so that it'll be three foot tall, which is what I want my wall to be three foot high. So this is gonna be my outer, which I'm gonna paint and all that in the future. But y'all gonna see the step-by-step -step process of how I built this. And as you see, it's starting with a blank canvas. It's a do-it-yourself project. I'm using the impact with little standard screws all bought from Home Depot got the red standard saws all nothing major and we're going to get into it too I don't want to do like a time-lapse type thing because it might take me an hour it might take me two hours so I'm gonna just show you a quick snippet of how it's going and I'm gonna show you my next plan as I go so my first plan on now is to get my border and my base set for a round and when I get that set up I should be back we got the main one up. I ran out of fencing posts to finish up, but y'all get what's going on. All I gotta do is start making more of them support beams to go all throughout. Yeah. This would be a wrap for the fence. And then butt up against these wood over here, right up against this one. That'll be it. Pressure stock up the Home Depot. As you see here, I just went and got 10 more. No games. Should have a little bit extras, but I ain't trying to go back here, feel me? So, this is what I was left with last night, and I'm going to knock it out today. Let's get this finished up. Got some more screws. And there we have it. Got a paint the outside and the inside of this and paint some of this wall back white get all this looking good and yep sweep this up and part one is complete and that's what it looks like on the outside no dog you getting in here I have one board extra which I'll probably figure out what I'm gonna use it for. But, yep, probably be a shelf or something. But I'm happy with it. Got all my reinforcements in here for this corner, middle, and my edges. The middle and then my edges. So, I can sit on it, stand on it, all that. If you know I tried. <laughs> What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Diz here interrupt this video real quick because we got a couple packages quick little unboxing Let's see what we have well, I think I might from this one of our first supporters here I think that's what's seen here Up. Yeah. She has a tripod. She got us a, a lot of little gadgets to hold your phones and clickers for automatic stuff. Help us get in the door. Yeah. Brighter light than the one we're using. Some good little shit, some good stuff here. Empty box. 
Don't you be wishing more stuff comes in boxes sometimes? But I'm gonna show you in this box that came in the same time. So this is gonna be a little snippet of what is in store in the future. Okay. I ain't gonna say nothing. All I'm gonna do is show you. Okay. And what's going on with Amazon not boxing boxes? What type of shit is this? But yeah. So you about to get this. And back to the video you came to watch. Give you guys a rough look of what it's gonna be. We're getting closer. So yeah. Gonna take up the whole room. 10 by 10 square. So pull six. It's 10 by 10 foot by 30 inches. From my understanding, I think it's six foot from bottom to edge, like bottom, bottom, all the way around six foot. So we got plenty of room on the edges, I should feel. So I, I'm gonna start getting a little water in here to get our boundaries so I know where it's at in a minute. But yep, I think this will wrap up part one. Y'all see what we got going on. Thanks for tuning in, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.